Good day, everyone. This is uh, Chris with the Ancient Scholar, and this is going to be uh, the uh, review of the homework assignment that my students had um, for uh, Introduction to Dosage Calculations for Respiratory Therapy. This is part of my pharmacology class, uh, fall semester 2012. I'll probably do the first seven questions in this video and then the um, subsequent seven questions uh, in the next video or you know I may have to divide it up into even three videos depending on how long it takes for me to get through all this so let's just go ahead and start at the top at question number one here and question number one says you have a vial of albuterol labeled five milligrams and one milliliter you need to draw 1.25 milligrams to administer how many milliliters do you need to pull from the vial Okay, so this is a fairly straightforward uh, calculation. It's just a matter of, you know, what is the, is the question asking and, uh, you know, what do we have going on? And if you remember from class, I talked about kind of the whole um, what do you have and what do you want. So over here, what do I have and what I want? So what do I have? Well, I know for a fact that I have 5 milligrams and 1 milliliter in that vial. So I'm going to go ahead and put 5 milligrams per 1 milliliter over here. And what do I want on this side? Well, I want to give 1.25 milligrams, but I don't know how many milliliters. Okay. So now that I have the basic formula set up, I need only to cross multiply and solve for x. So 5 times x is 5x equals 1 times 1.25 or 1.25 hopefully the uh, how to answer this will become obvious divide both sides by 5 okay x will go ahead and fall out and 1.25 and you divide that by 5 and that should 0 0.25 milliliters so if I draw 0 0.25 milliliters from the vial that will give me a total of 1.25 to five milligrams so pretty straightforward question there and as as we talked about in class um, there are other, some people have other ways of doing dosage calculations uh, the way that I've showed you or the way that I use is not necessarily the best the most right way it's simply a way so if you have a better way uh, please feel free to uh, use that um, if you can consistently get the right answers okay question number two an ER nurse reports a patient received uh, 1.5 grams of Tylenol over the past six hours. Uh, how many milligrams of Tylenol did the patient receive? So this is a pretty straightforward, um, really just a unit conversion. And if you, if this is actually pretty, should be pretty intuitively obvious to a lot of people. And if it isn't, let's just go ahead and set up the formula here. So um, what I have and what I want so what I do know for a fact over here on the have is I do know my basic conversion for grams to milligrams. I know that there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram, okay? And I have X, okay? I don't know how many milligrams, but I have 1.5 grams. I simply cross multiply. 1X equals... 1,000 times 1 1.5 is 1,500 milligrams. So in this case, 1.5 grams of Tylenol equals 1,500 milligrams. Those are equivalent statements, and I've answered uh, the question. Okay, let's go ahead and just continue moving on here. Let me erase all this stuff, and we'll move on to question number three. <clears throat> So question number three says that I need to administer 300 milligrams of mucomist to my patient. I have a vial of 10% mucomist on hand. How many milliliters will I draw from the vial? Okay, well, let's figure this out here. Um, first of all, what do I know that I have? Well, I know that I have a 10% solution, right? And if you remember, percentage is always grams per 100 milliliters okay so 10% is going to be 10 grams in 100 milliliters okay 
Um, but this is asking for milligrams, so I need to convert the 10 grams to milligrams. And if there are a thousand milligrams per gram, 10 grams is going to be 10,000 milligrams in 100 milliliters. I can go ahead and knock these zeros out, and that gives me 100 milligrams per milliliter. So 10% solution is 100 milligrams per milliliter. And now I have the basic information to set up my dimensional analysis. I want and my have. So I have on this side, I want over here. I know that I have 100 milligrams per 1 ml. I want to administer 300 milligrams x milliliters. Cross multiply. 100 x, right? 100 times x equals 1 times 3. Um, 1 times 300 is 300. Divide both sides by 100. X falls out. 100 goes into 300. Knock the zeros out three times. So 3 milliliters would give me 300 milligrams of mucomist. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go on to question number four. Question number four is yet another mucomist uh, question. Uh, this is at a different percentage, however. Instead of 10%, we have 20%. So this question says, I've drawn up three milliliters of 20% mucomist. How many milligrams of mucomist have you drawn up? Okay, so let's just go ahead and do the same thing here. Um, First of all, let's, let's figure out what 20% is. Well, 20% is 20 grams in 100 milliliters. Um, that's also 20,000 milligrams in 100 milliliters. Or 200 milligrams per 1 ml. Okay? If 1 milliliter is 200 milligrams, 2 milliliters will be 400 milligrams, and 3 milliliters will be 600 milligrams. So I've gotten to my answer number 4. Pretty straightforward there. And then really all of these questions are very straightforward. Uh, really the big struggle is just, you know, how do I set my problem up? What, what are these really asking? The math is really not all that difficult. Okay, number 5. So I, I will administer 2.5 milligrams of albuterol and I have a 0.5% um, solution on hand, how many mils will I need to uh, draw from this vial to administer the dose of 2.5 milligrams? Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to figure my percentage out. 0.5%, just 0.5 grams in 100 milliliters. 0.5 grams is 500 milligrams in 100 milliliters. Uh, which gives me 5 milligrams per milliliter. Okay, 5 milligrams per 1 ml. All right, so I figured that percentage out. So let's just go ahead and erase all of this. 5 milligrams per milliliter. So now I'll just do my 1 half. What do I have? I have 5 milligrams per 1 ml. And it says that I want to administer 2.5 milligrams, so 2.5 mg, what I want over here, and x ml. 5 cross multiply, right? Uh, 5x equals 2.5. Divide by 5, right? Divide by 5, and 5 goes into 2.5. Um, Obviously, it doesn't, so you'll have to add a point and add a zero, and you should come up with a fairly easy answer there of 0 0.5 ml. So if I administer 0 0.5 milliliters, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I will have administered uh, 2.5 milligrams of um, albuterol, uh, assuming that I am, in fact, using a 0.5% solution. Okay. 
So let's move on to number six here. Number six says, uh, well, I'll try to read this while I'm erasing at the same time. Uh, you will administer 12.5 grams of dextrose IV. The vial reads 50 grams in 100 milliliters solution. Uh, how many milliliters of the vial will you administer? Okay, so um, I need to administer 12.5 grams. I have 50 grams in 100 mils. Practically set the set the problem up for me here. Um, so, what do I have? What do I want? Well, I have 50 grams and 100. 50 and 100. Okay. Or 5 grams and 10. However you want to go ahead and reduce that uh, is fine with me. Let's just go ahead and we'll just keep it at 50 and 100. So I have 50 grams, 100 ml, and I need to administer 12.5 grams x milliliters. I need to figure out what x is. So we'll go ahead and cross multiply here. 50 times x is 50x equals, and then it's just 12.5 times 100 times 100, and uh, it's just a matter of moving my point over. It should give me 1,250. And then I just simply divide both sides by 50 here. And that should give me x equals 25 ml. 25 milliliters. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If I administer... 25 milliliters of the uh, dextrose solution that will or should give me 12.5 grams of dextrose IV. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to number seven. I think I'm going to cut it off here and we will pick up the uh, the last seven in another video since I'm already at about 12 minutes or so on this one. I don't want to really take up too much time. So we'll go ahead and do seven real quick. All right. All right. So what does seven say? You'll administer one milligram of epinephrine one to 10,000 to an adult patient in cardiac arrest. How many milliliters of solution will you administer? Well, if you remember, one anything, any one solution is just grams in how many milliliters. So 1 to 10,000 is 1 gram in 10,000 milliliters, okay? Or 1,000 milligrams in 10,000 milliliters. We'll knock some zeros out here. And that's one milligram and ten milliliters. Well, I don't really even need to do any anything else beyond that because I want to give a milligram. So I simply administer ten milliliters, and that'll give me one milligram. So fairly easy is in and really the, the big jump of intuition is is knowing what one to ten thousand or one to a hundred or one to one thousand or what have you means. And it's just grams in how many uh, milliliters you have. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for now. We'll finish the other seven in a subsequent video. Thanks for hanging in there.